Good morning, guys, from uh, United World Capital and Cyprus. Today, everybody is waiting, and especially then everybody in the markets are waiting for Mr. Bernanke and Mr. Draghi in the European Central Bank for uh, once, once more and for a new time. Uh, there has been created expectations before the meetings in the European Central Bank and the Federal Reserve, uh, which are going to take place during the second half of this week. And today or uh, later this week, we would have an answer to whether these expectations were blown out of proportions and that a sort of a bubble was created. I think that most analysts are now saying that nothing special is going to come out of these meetings. We should uh, rather look forward to September for as a decisive month. Uh, the markets reacted also accordingly. After uh, now being boosted by expectations for some days, they decided that yesterday was the day to let stocks fall a little bit again. And uh, that happened in New York, it happened in Europe, and the same was the situation in Asia this morning, where the um, indexes were falling for the first day in five days. Uh, interesting to note from New York is that Facebook, which has been, you could say, the uh, big uh, stock to follow during the spring, uh, yesterday it ended in New York on $21 per stock, which means that it has been falling more than 50% since its introduction uh, only some uh, few months ago. So that reminds, let's say, traders about the uh, downfall of the high-tech market and Nasdaq for 10, 12 years ago. Regarding the currency market, it's quiet before you could say it might be the storm. Uh, the euro, US dollar, is trading on 122.92 this morning, and uh, there has not been big movements in the currency market over the last 24 hours. In Australia, the Australian dollar is falling again due to weaker numbers coming, up, coming out from China, creating again a question whether uh, the Chinese economy is going to still uh, fall uh, a little bit down. Uh, oil prices are down this morning, 104 per barrel on Brent. Again, a little bit disappointment might be after the expectations being created that not so much is happening and might be not so much is going to uh, happen either when we see these crucial meetings in ECB and the Federal Reserve later this week. I wish all traders a very good trading day from Cyprus. Have a nice day.